1941, during the Second World War, when 13,000 Jews were killed by the Romanian Nazi army in the city. And the other hundreds of thousands were sent to a, to a concentration camp in Ukraine. So, in fact, I didn't learn this in school. In communist time, nobody tell, told me this. And even now, it's just a simple plate there. But 13,000 people were killed. We should have to assume, not me, but we should have to talk about this more. So it was a difficult time of filming. It was a difficult time for us to produce such a film, to organize the interview with, with people. So it was a, an interesting film. And then I'm just to show you the last image. The last image is a work by, by a German artist, Carsten Höhler. Carsten Höhler is, uh, yes, is everywhere. But uh, we exhibited, we exhibited, uh, we exhibited one of his works, of his early works, we know that he studied uh, biology. He was a specialist in ethology. This explains why in 97 he exhibited a documentary of that house for pigs, if you remember. So, and, uh, and uh, he, uh, he produced this work in, uh, together into the future. Zusammen mit der Zukunft, I think it is in German. Uh, it, it was just a slogan who was uh, presented in, in different public spaces in his hometown in Germany, in Kiel. And when he came to Yash, he said, but this is just the beginning. Hey guys, what you do here, it's the beginning. I think that you have a lot of positive energy and you will do something. And let's, I think that this slogan should have to be installed in different places in the city. And of course, we didn't have a big budget to, 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 to have a, this kind of uh, digital displays, LCD displays. So okay, we'll make banners like the advertisement it made is made in our city on, with these banners, street banners. So we had about 20 banners with this. And what you see here, this is a street. It's it's a street in Yash, it's a boulevard which during the weekend is closed for traffic for cars, and all the people are walking, children, teenagers, but they are biking. So it's a kind of, I wanted to end with this uh, optimist image, because I think that uh, in the moment we'll take this decision that we will stop organizing a BMR. we are doing a project in an organic relationship to the spirit of the place, which is analyzing the context. I think that this is the, the future uh, for, for our context. Thank you very much, and I hope, and if there are questions, I open for answer. about the individual presentations or about the issues that have been been raised as a result of, of, of the kind of collective of the two of them. Who'd like to start? Well, I'll start. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I start. <laughs> Sadhu, would you like to make some comments? No, I, want, I would like just to much more information on the numbers about the sponsoring who was yesterday speaking about that. And uh, basically, um, I mean, the term Biennale has been, uh, uh, you know, if we have some of those software, it was already today in the air probably 1,000 times, probably it's going to be a few more hundred at least. Um, basically, it means nothing. It means an event that happens every two years. Uh, of course, it became uh, appropriated by the big Biennale, but when, when it is, um, together with the place, then it becomes very, very official, like Liverpool, Venice, um, Sao Paulo, Johannesburg, then it becomes a very, very big, DACA becomes a very big event, very official with lots of money, really dealing with tourism as much as any other thing. But, uh, but it can be anything. I mean, my video or performance by any is nothing but a very small event that it, it simply takes place every two years. And this calling it biennial, actually, it's more like um, putting us, the organizers, into the constraints of, okay, we have to do it again. 
I'm not start bar, maybe next year, or bar, maybe this year, or in the end, I mean, that's the important thing. It's, it's, a, it's an absolutely empty word that, or, that, that puts the organizers in some pressure. I wonder then, uh, first, if you ever wonder if you don't, you shouldn't call it like the Yash Biennale, and officialize it on one side at some point in the past. And then, if you're not afraid that uh, releasing yourself of the Biennale will end up in uh, this event is never going to happen again, maybe it's much smaller, or maybe not, or, or just don't have the, the obligation to do it again. And third, uh, yeah, I don't know, some numbers we'd like to talk, talk about. What kind of numbers? About, uh, Money? Yeah, how much it costs, who's okay. sponsoring it, how many artists. Uh, okay, yeah. So first, what was the first question? It was about uh, the format. Yeah. 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 I think that, you see, my nose is bleeding every time. Don't you see? No. My nose is bleeding. So it's, so it's not about stopping. <laughs> sure. We don't stop. Yes, the nonch is punched all the time, but it's not stuff. It's not, it's made because I think that I belong to the 80s. In the 80s, art, we used art to survive. So art and art discussions and art talks on the mountains in Romania, in the time when probably you saw on television only Ceausescu, and in the 90s, when you saw only the gypsies and the children on the streets, we were on the mountains talking about philosophy so, and talking about art. So it's, 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 in fact, what is your relationship between yourself and what you're doing and your project? So I think that it's a strong relationship, and I think that it will continue. And somehow, many times, I feel strange. I felt strange of being invited in some panel discussions. Believe me, I was invited in many important institutions, museums, big museums all over the world to discuss about this. And I was talking in a similar way at this level of English. And, uh, and I, I said the same story. It's a story of a group of people which are building a machine, an institution. And uh, I don't think, and I think that I felt I really we didn't feel comfortable with this brand of PNR. It's really we don't. Want, it's not about success. I had we just I just told to Paul in this morning. We found people like us. We see the street in the same color. We are there. It's a network. That network exists, and we're for sure that in this room there are people which see the things in a similar way like we see. So. It's not about success, it's not about consuming, it's not about tourists, it's not about politicians. We don't have nothing to do with them. I just, oh, and about money, I'm telling you. We don't work with, we stopped working with British Council because they, they are colonial or he hegemonical. In Eastern Europe, it's about hegemony. In Africa, it's about colonialism. They are hegemonical. Okay, stop. Keep your clientele and your philosophy of culture and in, culture industry and regeneration, do it with your money, with your people. We are not a British Council people in our country. Don't it? We don't work with Alliance Francaise, avec la clientèle française, bureaucratique. No. We have our own people there. Also French, also Germans. We work with Scandinavians because I think that the Scandinavian money was okay. It's not colonial. <laughs> I like Scandinavian money, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I like more now the Romanian.